Automated dialogue replacement or ADR is becoming more and more common and until recently it was only a tool that high-end post-production studios had access to. Now that it's available for free in DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight, how should you use it to improve the quality of your projects? Today I'm walking you through how to set up and run an ADR session in DaVinci Resolve 18. If you didn't see my last video on the ADR panel, check it out at the link in the description. Getting set up to record an ADR session is straightforward. We'll start by creating tracks in preparation to record ADR. Go to the Fairlight page and in the timeline, create a new mono audio track. We'll use this track for our ADR recording. If you're recording ADR to your main timeline, you may want to also solo both the guide track and the record track so that you and the talent can focus on the audio being re-recorded. Next, go to the ADR interface. We'll be configuring our ADR session in the setup panel. Enter the pre and post roll you want to use in seconds. It's recommended you use a pre-roll of three or more seconds to give you or your talent enough time to be ready. In the record source drop-down menu, select the microphone or interface that you want to use. From the record track drop-down menu, choose the record track that you created. This is where the ADR will be recorded to. In the guide track drop down menu, choose the audio track with the original production audio that you want to replace. At the bottom of the panel, select which pre-roll cues you and the talent want to use while recording. Beep to end point and beep at end point provide an audible countdown to when to start speaking. The animated video streamer option gives a visual countdown to the start time, shows the duration of the cue being recorded, and also displays the text of the dialogue for that cue on screen for the actor to refer to, keeping their eyes on the screen and not on a script. To use the beep to in and beep at in options, you need to patch the Fairlight oscillator to the output channels so that whoever is reading lines can hear the beeps. First, open the patch input output window. Next, choose system generator from the source dropdown menu and click select beeps. Then choose audio outputs from the destination dropdown and choose the outputs you want these to preview out of. Finally, click patch to make the connection. Then close the patch input output window. In order to use the ADR interface, you need to build Build cues. Now, there are two ways you can create a cue list to record with. You can either make one from scratch or import one. The ADR panel accommodates both workflows. If you're editing your dialogue inside DaVinci Resolve, you should create a list by marking the sections of the timeline you need to record ADR for and creating a cue list from those times. To create cues, you should start by adding the names of each character you'll be creating a cue for in the setup panel. These names make it easier to enter cues and will help you filter and sort the list later on. To add character names, first open the setup panel of the ADR interface, then click Add New. An entry should appear in the character setup list and just type the name when ready. Finally, press Return when you're done. As a note, if you misspell a name, you can double click any name in the list to edit it, and if you want to delete a name, select it and click Remove. Once you've entered your character's names, you can begin creating your queue list. To manually add cues into the queue list, open the list panel of the ADR interface. Then set in the out points in the timeline to mark the section of dialogue you want to turn into a queue. Those time code values appear in the queue editing section of the list panel. Next, click a new queue and add a blank queue to the queue list. In the queue editing section, choose the character who's speaking that queue from the character dropdown. If the correct name does not appear here, go back and enter the name in the setup panel. Select the text field below and type the dialogue that needs to be re-recorded and repeat until you're finished creating all the queues you intend to re-record. If at any point you need to edit a queue, simply click Click to select that queue and edit in the queue editing section above. If you already have a queue list created in a spreadsheet, then you can create a queue list by importing the CSV file. To import a CSV file, choose import queue list from the ADR option menu, then use the dialog to choose the CSV file containing the queue list. Click open and then an ADR setup dialog appears showing the data from the CSV file previewed as a series of columns. Check and be sure the columns are assigned correct. If not, reassign each each column of the incoming data to the correct column of the ADR panel. Correct formatting for queue lists you want to import is to have no header text and to enter information using one row per queue with four individual columns, one for timecode, one for out timecode, character name, and dialog. Finally, click import CSV files. The queues should appear in the queue list. You can also export a queue list as a CSV file. To do this, click the export queue list button on the ADR option menu and choose a location to save the file to. 
Everything up to this point can be done before the talent shows up to do ADR. Now the workstation is ready for recording and you've set up a cue list to work with and it's time to start. Open the record panel of the ADR interface and if you're recording multiple characters, select each unnecessary character in the ADR option menu to uncheck that character, hiding their dialogue in the cue list. With the list showing cues you need, select the cue you want to start recording and the playhead will automatically move to that part of the timeline. Click the rehearse button a few times to run through the queue with the talent. It normally takes a few tries to get it right and this is a great way to warm them up. When you click rehearse, both audio and video corresponding to that cue will play including pre-roll and post-roll along with all beeps and on-screen cues. When you're finally ready to try a take, click the record button and let the Fairlight page do the work of playing through pre-roll and visual stream cues, initiating recording and then stopping recording. We are setting. Ooh. Quick disclaimer, Quick disclaimer this in this video, we're looking at the ADR, at the ADR panel, panel, taking a deep dive into the controls and settings to get, get ready for an ADR, ADR session. session. If you're actually looking for a walkthrough on to record another take, simply click the record button again. Every time you complete a recording, a take appears in the take list. Making multiple recordings results in multiple takes in the list. In the timeline, all new takes appear as layered audio, so you can record as many takes as you like into the same area of the timeline. Once you've finished recording, you'll have a neatly organized stack of alternate takes to draw upon as you edit together the best parts of each recording. If you or the talent want to hear a particular take again, select it in the take list and click play. Use the five star rating control to keep track of how you liked each take. Finally, when you're finished recording a cue, click the done checkbox for that cue and select the next cue you want to re-record. When you're finished re-recording dialogue, simply close the ADR interface. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and check out this playlist.